What's up, Lucky Gamers? It's Lucky Lux, and today we're gonna be looking at another video on Blue Archive, going over the total assault, basically the raid that just dropped for us uh, earlier in the week, and uh, it's pretty exciting. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what to look out for in the raid, uh, what to expect, and then also what students that you want to use to go ahead and complete that. And I'm really gonna take into consideration that not everybody has the same unit, so I'm just gonna show you how certain units or just a certain category of units would be very strong for the total assault. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop into the video. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna get into the total assault, which is gonna be a raid right here under campaign. Um, and then this week, the boss, Bina, is uh, a heavy uh, defense type. So you wanna bring all of your piercing um, units. Uh, so we're gonna go over the skills real quick so the ex skill here it's gonna be doing 120 percent of attack as damage in a straight line so he's gonna fire like this laser so it's normally gonna target your tank but every now and then your deep uh your dps is gonna be in that line Just trying to make sure that they aren't uh because it does quite a bit of damage especially if you're using like a single target healer you don't want to have to stress that um especially if you're trying to get dps off with your units and you got high cost ex skills just be wary of that um the ex skill uh the second one fires the severity that's going to deal 200 percent of attack as damage to four enemies so you definitely want to look out for that because it's going to be hitting your team pretty hard so just again make sure that you have heals on standby or bring an aoe healer which i honestly um i mean i honestly suggest bring an aoe healer um, it's gonna help you out greatly and then this next EX skill is one that hurts very bad it deals 300% of attack is damage to all enemies and decreases enemy defense by 50% so what you want to make sure though is that you're bringing those piercing units because it's gonna help you stagger the boss he's gonna have a bar under his um, health bar that's gonna stagger the boss and allow you to it basically makes him vulnerable and allows you to do more damage to him and so that's where you want to pop off those high single target um, abilities, EX skills, and then just unload as much damage as you can to him. And then you pretty much know that you're doing good whenever you move to like another stage and you just continue doing that damage. But you want to make sure you keep stunning him and then just using your abilities just back to back to back to back to back. So this is where like being manual is a little bit better. That way you can just make sure that as soon as he's staggered, you're just popping off those abilities to get as much. And plus those heals sometimes the auto ends up using them at the wrong time um especially if you're using the aoe healer it might throw it in the back depending on who you have so again try to get more accustomed to using manual especially if you're at level or a little under level uh auto is not going to be your friend but we'll go ahead and go into some of the units um i'm gonna go off of the roles and we'll talk about like who you want to use um again we're looking at this for being a single target boss so with being a single target boss, uh, you're going to have single target like abilities that you want to use. So if you're talking about tanks, the top two to use is going to be Hoshino and Tsubaki. Hoshino is going to be a um, piercing unit. So she's going to have her EX skill, which is going to pretty much do a again. It is a fan, but this does high amounts of damage. It costs four. And I mean, her being a tank, it's going to pop off quite a bit. Uh, especially if you're one who's doing auto i mean her ex skill pretty much protects her with her sub skill giving her a barrier and then you have her basic skill which is going to recover her um hp based off of her healing whenever she gets low 30 percent or lower so if you're needing like heal somebody else but you're like oh no my host you know she, she has herself she can cover herself for a little bit to allow you to heal that person and then wait for that next rotation to heal her plus she's pretty tanky even though she's getting her defense cut by 50 percent i mean this is pretty high i mean i almost have mine at 500 i mean that's still a high defense right all right and so then we're looking for our next one that's going to be subaki uh, Subaki is decent for this. The only problem is, is that even with all the evasion that she has, whenever she gets hit, man, she gets hit hard. So don't bank everything on Tsubaki, uh, cause you're going to need other tanks. So start looking at some of the other tanks that you need to use because Tsubaki is okay. I mean, like this EX skill here, increasing her defense, I mean, 28%, it's only 75. So this ability is kind of honestly useless and her Tondigal enemies, there's only one enemy. So just be careful about that. Now her basic skill does heal her quite a bit whenever she gets 
low, but you're still gonna want a healer that can, like Hana A, somebody who can heal her consistently and heal her over time. Uh, and then with her uh, sub skill, I do need to get this. It decreases incoming damage whenever she's reloading, which will definitely help her out uh, because whenever she does take damage, boy, does it hurt. Uh, somebody else that I was using, was it Haruka? No, it wasn't. Um, after, after honestly, Hoshino and Emi, I mean, Hoshino and Subaki, pretty much you're, uh, you're, you're down to like your other tanks. And at that point, they're going to be weaker. So we already went over like Emi, Haruka and Yuka. Like they don't do too well in field warfare. And honestly, you should only be using them like once you're pretty much finishing up the boss. Uh, Cause if you're not killing them with the team that you have Hoshino and Tsubaki on, then you're pretty much in trouble, right? Cause it's not only just about doing, um, by surviving the boss, you also want to do enough damage within that three minutes. So just, just think about that a little bit. All right, so let's move on to dealers. Karin high dps high dps yes she is one of your specials so you know she's gonna be taking the spot of possibly a healer but if you have the right type of healer for your team then you can use her she does high amounts of damage her ex skill does 790 for me i have it level two but it does 790 percent of attack damage to one enemy and then deals 481 additional to extra large enemies which the boss is an extra large enemy this is like 12 this is over 1200 percent damage that she's doing to the boss high amounts of damage and her basic skill is doing again another decent amount of damage 230 percent of attack and then her enhanced skills and her sub skills just help her and help the rest of the team to just do more damage again a really good unit if you have her for this um let me see who else I had. Nero, Nero was amazing. Again, another piercing unit. Uh, her skill is very cheap. Costs only two. Deals 476 uh, percent. Sorry, of attack as damage to one enemy increases by 1.5 times when enraged. So keep up that enrage. Keep it up. Because like I mean, her basic skill. She's getting her range. She gets her um, evasion. So once you see her using her cruising for a bruising, then use her ex skill. It's doing high amounts of damage high amounts of damage i mean she's popping it off all the time and this lasts forever so cycle through those skills and then her sub skill increases her attack when she's in the rage state so she's i mean she's buffing herself pretty high she's dodging some of these attacks so she'll end up like living longer than most of your other dps's and then she's over here just popping off mad damage so if you're using her um especially if you're using like karin and her because karin's ability costs a lot nerus doesn't cost as much so while you're, you know, kind of building up that um, stagger bar for the boss, just go ahead and just use Nehru's all you want and save like Karin's if you know it's coming up quick because like she's going to keep getting it back. So yeah, no issues, no problems. Okay, so for another DPS, I did have, um, if you're like on your second or third team, Mashiro, yes, she does do high amounts of damage. I know you guys are really excited to use her, but just remember she is not piercing she's an attack type explosive and when i use her man she was not doing that high amounts of damage i just wanted to cover her real quick i know this is cheap um but when this doesn't pop off man that's it's it's huge like she i was where i was seeing she was going to do high amounts of damage she ended up doing almost nothing her basic skill does uh, kind of honestly low attack damage to enemies in a circle area which there's only one boss like the only thing she has going for her is the increased crit and then the ally accuracy is just like kind of meh so i know you guys are excited about getting her but she's honestly not the one for this now not only she is an attack type piercing but again an aoe ex skill cost five huge so this is not high amounts of damage and it's hitting a fan-shaped area and it costs a lot so not something that she really want to use the only thing she has going for her if you love her and you want to use her is what you have going for you is a sub skill where it does um for me 6.7 percent of attack is additional damage when attacking large size enemies so you get that and then her basic skill is going to increase her attack so she's like okay but don't be mad if it's not popping off as much as you want now hasumi hasumi was amazing attack type piercing she's a sniper her ex skill is doing a high instance of damage 574 percent of attack to one enemy really high but this cost is high so be careful when you're using her with like karin 
that's two high abilities you only have i think what is it like nine in your bar so if you're using this you're pretty much missing having to decide between one or the other and remember you have to have like i would i would have a dps that has a high cost a dps that has a low cost and then your healer that way you're constantly cycling because when you have everybody with high cost it it becomes a problem trust me and you want to have somebody with a high damage basic skill as well that way you're not having to worry about their ability but on this basic skill it increases her crit damage last 13 seconds but she's not going to reload instantly because she's not defeating any enemies and then her sub skill is going to help her because she increases her crit by 50 percent when she's reloading for one normal attack which of course she's increasing her crit damage by 30 percent so this is very strong for that single target instance of damage so i would consider building her up and then junko junko i uh on this stream the other night had her at a two star i was like you know what let me go ahead and upgrade her to a three star because i was not looking at her at all for some reason deals 857 percent of attack is damage to enemies within a straight line even though this is trying to hit multiple enemies it's still just a straight line just aim it at the boss just aim it at the boss uh decreases the current hp which is okay if you have an aoe healer again it costs a lot so watch it if you're going to use her with um karin or just anybody who has a high cost ability um, because then she'll end up in the lower DPS charts because the game is going to try to decide who you want to use or even you are trying to decide who you want to use and you'll be taking too much time and it's just lowering DPS. Uh, her basic skill is honestly not really helping DPS wise and I mean honestly if she gets this low she's going to be dying pretty quick but it will help you if you've been keeping up on heals and she accidentally walks into the straight line of the enemy and gets popped then she can pretty much survive for a little bit so it's kind of useful and then her sub skill which gives her extra um attack proportionate to her uh, missing hp so you know level this up kind of passively but this ex skill here you want to get this as high as you can especially if you have the materials to do so um let me see who else was i really using um I'm trying to think oh asuna no, I lied. I lied. It was the the supports here. I think that's pretty much most of the DPSs that I used. Everybody else, you're kind of going to be fitting into like each and every other space, right? Like uh, like support here, Hifumi. Uh, she was amazing because of her basics uh her basic skill decreasing the accuracy and then her sub skill um basically giving us that cost recovery now her ex skill using the para plush not the greatest because it's an aoe attack but it's like those passive things where she helps you out with the uh the cost recovery to get your abilities back because you're trying to get your highest instance of damage so that's where she comes in clutch for you um then you're looking at so if we're going to be looking at healers um, let me go over this real quick. Fuka was amazing. Her uh, heal costs a lot. Yes, I know. But it guarantees and makes sure that your um, units get healed um, because they might move out the way or they try to dodge something. No, this brings them all in and recovers their health. Um, but the only thing is, is that just make sure to use it at the right time because it's losing damage because they have to actually run to it and run back. So just be careful on that her basic skill increases defense of one ally with the highest max hp so if you're using like oshino or haruka they're gonna love this subaki doesn't love this as much so just think about that and then her sub skill if you have it is gonna um increase their crit resistance which is gonna help you against that boss if you ever crits the mess out of you um akane akane is who i used akane was amazing do not sleep on her i upgraded her just for this because that EX skill does a high instance of damage, 547% of attack is damage to one enemy, decreases defense by 29%, cost is two. Two. Just think about having Akane, Nehru, and then like Karin, and then you can even have another high DPS, I mean, because like you have two people who are doing high amounts of damage and it costs nothing, nothing. It's still lower than their abilities and it's doing high amounts of damage. And then you have her basic skill, which is doing 396% of attack as damage to one enemy every 40 seconds. I mean, you're having the mission that lasts like for three, 
for three minutes. So I mean, you can at least use this like four, if not five, uh, not five. Yeah, no, you can use it like quite a bit of times. I was, my math, <laughs> I'm not getting it. But uh, you can use it quite a bit of time. So this is again, very strong. Um, and then, I'm trying to think. Ayane, when I was using her, her heal is good. Again, an AOE heal, it costs four. I know you guys love Serena, but this is gonna help keep your team alive whenever they're all getting hit. So just think about using Ayane. Her basic skill is gonna increase your crit resistance to help protect your team. And if you have her uh, her three-star um, sub skill, it's gonna increase your allies HP, which is gonna help them stay alive whenever they're getting hit. You think it doesn't matter, but 9.1% on some of these people is a couple hundred to help keep them alive whenever you're waiting for a heal. So, you know, just just saying, just saying. Um, let's see, I already went over. Uh, Musuki, she's okay. Again, it's an AOE. It costs four. Just kind of think about that. Her basic skill, again, some of them some mines is AOE. Um, she just, she's like an A, but she's also an explosive type. And it's just like, eh, not really too crazy um, about that. Um, and then everybody else, honestly, uh, it's just kind of like fillers for your team as you move down. You, you just really want to make sure that you have your piercing type damage and that in these top units like your s's and your a's like if you're full of that you want to make sure that they're doing pretty much like your first team you want to make sure they're pulling off like at least 50 your next team is doing 30 and then the next one's doing 20 right like i mean you need you need that first team to bang out as much damage as you can because it's going to get harder and harder because no not many of us have every character leveled up i mean i'm trying my best so you need that first team to just knock it out of the park. Um, and that's pretty much all I can say for you guys. Um, all I can say is wish you guys luck in getting to the top of the leaderboards, getting your rewards for the total assault, because I know it's giving out some great rewards for a lot of us. Um, and you're getting like level up materials, you're getting like shards, um, everything like that. So um, get as high as you can, guys, because they're giving out some really great stuff. But uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and head out of here. You lucky gamers, have a good one. Lucky Lux out.